Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM, the XCOM files. Uh, if anyone's actually watching this, hello and where we last left off. Um, I believe we had just got our new guns in and we killed a wolf. And I've lost like 11 agents already. And I think my monthly report last time was awful as well. So, hopefully, it will improve. So, let's go. Actually, I'll just have to make sure I've got everything I need. Uh, I don't think there's any other events. Uh, speaking of which, there's an event right now. Strange life form. Right, what I'm gonna do... I'll load up the car with what we have. So do I have anyone left? I have plenty of unnamed people, and I should probably send the rookies out first. Okay, let's take a look. Agents... So, you shall be Evil Dutchman. And second man will be... Oh, I need to call some guys from my Let's Plays again. <laughs> Let me take a look. What do I have? I should really remember my Let's Plays better. I did a Lord of the Rings. Eh. Samwise. I will start taking pins from Lord of the Rings now. Also, training, just so I know. If we're in Pac Man's in there, Cyrus should definitely be in there. Yes, god damn it, he's not leaving this base anymore, he's the captain! He's in charge of XCOM at this point. Okay. So, oh, uh, that's loaded the rest of the car. Uh, public car. So, you have a lunch man, Samwise, you're in. Equipment, two knives, two clubs. I need more tasers, apparently. Otherwise, two magnums with sticks, reloads. And shotguns, two with two each. Actually, no, four each. Yeah, two each. Yeah, actually, no, that's right. That's right. Four each. Two each. God damn. What am I saying? Two reloads per person. One med pack, I'm probably gonna need more of those. And a fire extinguisher. Okay. Car, go to Strange Life Form. I'm hoping it won't be... Like, eight people. Like, eight muck stars, like it was last time I turned up in a van. Oh, personal protection. Ah. Kevlar vests are, hard, are hardly cutting-edge technology. But apparently, uh, we were not considered important enough for a steady supply of those. I hope to correct this uh, apparent error, even though it'll be a lot of paperwork on my part. They're somewhat expensive for what little protection they offer, but maybe at least they'll make our agents happier. For now, how about using good old leather coats? At least they'll keep your waterproof and might stop a weak attack. Okay, Kevlar vests. Let's put our research into that, shall we? Get on the Kevlar. And I suppose we can buy leather vests or just wear them? Something like that. Which might provide a little more protection than a suit. Who knows? Uh, well, in any case, let's make our way down. It should actually be daytime by the time we get there. There we go. Strange life form. Right, evil Dutchman, you you want to go out there with a knife? So does Samwise, you kidding me? We have guns for this. Okay, standard shot, I think. You cannot carry anything. Okay, AP rounds. One buckshot, one more AP. You should, you should have a magnum. You can't even carry a magnum. You are just gonna have your shotgun. Okay, good luck. And Sam, what? Wow, you are no better. Okay, I guess this is our this is our loadout. What are we fighting? Zombies, right? I should have I should have the buckshot. Uh, let me just turn this music a little bit. There we go. How many zombies are we fighting? And are, the, are there any that's gonna explode? 
That was a big problem last time. Right. Yeah, this is gonna work. You know what? I should probably just swap out the ammo right now. Okay, as long as, as long as no one comes up behind us, we should be fine. Two agents, two, two improved shotguns. The buckshot's what we need. The zombies, I believe, are unarmored. So we could do potentially 15 times 7 damage on these guys, as opposed to just the standard 40. As long as we're not getting snuck up from behind, that door's open. Okay, evil Dutchman, you're keeping an eye out over there. I really need my magnum. Okay, drop. We probably won't need the AP rounds. Drop them on the ground. If possible, run around, grab a magnum, run back. Anyone there? Nope, they haven't moved in. So I will always have a little bit of a movement penalty, but I can start taking shots from long range. Oh, we took one down! Great! Okay, Samwise, that's your job. Evil Dutchman, you are purely for defending the car. Keep your eye out that way. I'm gonna choose to believe no one's gonna come up from behind me. I really need to avoid that purple one. Oh my god. And there are so many of them. Well, they we got two people? Right. Anyway. Unload. Reload. Put on your quick draw belt. And uh, just take a quick look behind you. Okay, we're still fine. Okay. Take a shot at this man in the back. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get ammo for the Magnum soon. Oh, oh, he's pretty damn close. They're actually all pretty damn close at this point. Okay, if I can't take out those zombies... Okay, that fat one came out of nowhere. quickly kill this one and leave. <laughs> Don't think I can really do this anymore. You just took a full-on buckshot to the chest. I'm leaving. <laughs> Maybe you should just leave these missions if, like, there's more than four people. Like, I'm just losing operatives and that just lose, loses me points every time. Chupacabra gore pile. A family was found dead in their house in Lahasa. Their half-eaten corpses were dragged into a pile and covered with a layer of slime. The bite marks uh, point to chupacabras, but we don't know why the creatures took the effort to arrange the remains like this. The council seems rather spooked by this morbid display of alien behavior. Oh boy, I'm gonna get a minus score again this, this month. Strange life form. Okay, we're taking the van again this time. I I need I need the full team. Also, I need uh Oh, so I do need to buy the lever coats. Didn't say it didn't give me like an acquisition form. Right, everyone buy loads of lever coats. Uh get more tasers. Get more of those. Get more flashlights. And more med packs. Got plenty of money. And uh, some more agents. Why not? Just in reserve. Just for when we need them. Okay. Take the van. I believe the van's fully equipped. Go to the North Pole! Don't know how we're getting there since we're technically using public transport, but I'm sure there's that really profitable airport that operates out the North Pole. 
Ah, my leather coats are here. And we're still get flying over Greenland. Will it be daytime by the time we get there? Not quite. We'll just do a quick patrol. Okay, we should be good. Begin. Okay, let's see how we do this time. This time, this team has a little bit more strength and can carry both items. Uh, you can potentially carry more. I think we'll leave it as is. We're fine as we are. What are we fighting? Oh boy, zombies. Okay, the fat ones seem to move pretty damn far last time. Let's take our pistols out. Aim shot. That's two solid hits, though. Okay, doki doki. And those were nowhere near. Wow, you are... You're not even trying, are you? Okay, otherwise... Defend the van from all corners. Oh, there's a zombie right there. But I have loaded in? I think I had AP rounds. That zombie's probably gonna kill us. Might be better to just do this. Give it a shot. Nope. <laughs> We're totally dead. Did not see that zombie. Should have fully turned around. Okay. The zombie didn't bite my face off. Which means we have a chance. Still got my AP rounds. Definitely gotta swap those out if I get the chance. Okay, holster. Move. Shoot. You're still moving. Okay, move. Holster. Shoot. Okay, if we have the time right now, we're try we're swapping out that ammo. Armor piercing, not that good against the zombies. Okay, no one's right in front of us. Okay, you keep an eye on that zombie. And you just keep looking over there and we'll just see. Coming this way. They did not make a noise though, so he's not... They're not coming to bite my face off. Only when they make, they make the noise, it's at face biting time. There's a fat one there, and those take a lot of... A lot of ammo. I'll need two agents for at least that one zombie, which means you guys have got to take out these zombies in one shot. Okay. If you run, you can get two shots on that guy. Hey, that one's done. Same with you. Move, two shots. You still have- Damn it, you still have the AP! That means you still got the AP. Damn it! Right, you're gonna have to commit to this. You're already too close. How much for an AP shot to this zombie there? <sighs> Not enough. Can you move? You can just barely move. You're gonna have to make the shot from here. Okay, we're definitely screwed. Uh, but let's see how screwed we are. Move here. Just drop the pistol on the ground. Oh, you can only do one! Ah! Damn it! Well, you're gonna be munched on. Oh, 
Well, that's one agent dead. Okay, move out the way. You. Shotgun. Okay, that one's dead. Use- might as well use up that remaining AP round. Still standing. Just shows how ineffective Armor Pearson is against a zombie. Seriously, four Armor Pearson rounds it took to take that one down. Where is this one? Far enough away. Right, I want to say the immediate ones are dead. So we're definitely reloading with AP. Not AP, Buckshot. Oh, good reaction fire. One dead. Okay. Okay. We're loaded up. You keep looking that way. Your reaction fire. You too. Overwatch that side. See anything? Take a shot. Hopefully. I mean, we've got a dead agent, so we should have enough rounds for it. Uh, although you need to reload. Should have plenty of buckshot here. Take it in your hand. Can you really not reload with that? Guess not. Uh, this fat zombie. It's probably best to just be on overwatch. In fact, if I get to the top of the hill... I might stand a better chance of survival. If I'm on top of this hill, it'll take the zombie more time units than not to get to me. So we'll make her stand here, and we'll dive down to the van when we need ammo. Otherwise, yeah, you can reload next turn. So make your way up. Okay, we also really can't afford to waste the ammo that we have. So there's no one nearby. Back to the Magnum. Okay, out of ammo for the Magnum. I'm determined to actually win a mission and not run away. One. Two. Both solid hits. One a critical hit. Just run around behind the van. Okay. Pistol. It's time to start taking some shots. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going with the aim. For you to fire and hit. Come on. Okay, good. Number one down. Uh, do I have a reload? I do. Someone in there. Right. Fire. Not of time units. Not as well. Fire. Okay. We're on the hill. We're in position. We're sort of sniping people with our magnums. It could be going worse. Honestly, it really could be going worse. We've lost one man. But we are hitting them. If we don't need to move, we can actually take another shot. <laughs> we put that zombie to sleep. First zombie mission, I actually want to pass. Come on. Last one was a complete bust. That's two zombies down. Right, stay on the hill for now. I wonder, you could be an ammo caddy. Yeah, you know what? It's safe for now. Holster that. Can't really host the shotgun. Right. Come down the hill a bit. You're gonna drag up as much ammo as you can and bring it back up the hill. 
so we don't have to move. Um, you got enough for a snapshot, so I'll leave you there. Okay. Run to the van. What do we got? Uh, so, grab the magnum ammo. Grab another buckshot. Turn around. Start walking towards the hill. Need more magnum ammo. Actually, he should just throw it. What am I doing? Why am I carrying it back up there? He should just stick there and throw it at them. Okay. More. Yeah, it's not the best shots we can do. Grab another clip. <laughs> More! <laughs> oh, come on! Gotta make him work for it. So there's no zombies just come around the side. I wonder how many's left. I don't even know. Don't wanna- t don't wanna know at the moment. Just make sure everyone's got enough to keep going. Could probably use another buckshot for that next turn. There was one behind here, but he might have moved. We'll stay here for now. We'll make sure we're fully armed for when we actually have to leave. Probably stop farm with a 12% chance. It might just be that one. Okay, so you just need to reload. Yep, that's all the ammo that we have. He's got his own spare clip. I guess he can throw that to him if he needs it. Otherwise, you've got your spare clip. Okay. I guess we should start moving down. Head towards this zombie. Now, those zombies that are sleeping could potentially get back up. So, you have to be careful. You just... Keep looking out that way. Okay, move up. Stand, shoot. That was it. Oh, thank God. That was actually a positive score. We lost one agent. But we killed eight people, recovered eight corpses, and took two of them alive. We have some live zombies. Every impact man, Doki Doki, and the Great Flood survived. We've got a fat zombie corpse, two zombies. Zombie corpses. Hawks of Death is dead. But that was actually a successful mission. It's what I need. Since I've been losing so many goddamn points. I think we do have plenty of magnum ammo, so I shouldn't need to buy any. Although, you know, just for the sake of it, let's buy some more. Went through quite a lot of those. Also, it seems I never go to these strange life form missions. Well, it it depends. Last time, I needed the AP shot. I suppose I'd rather have the AP shot, because regardless, it does do a lot of damage. It's just when the zombies pop up, I need the buck. Even then. Okay. Another strange life form. Alright, good enough for the van, I suppose. Let's load up that van again. In fact, I have armor this time. I'm gonna put them in leather coats, so they provide more protection. Yeah, see? Gives them like plus three more protection. Did 
Dodging a bit easier. Resistance against knives, fire, and similar hazards. Yeah! No, this is like a... This is just a direct improvement. Everyone gets a lever coat. I suppose Evil Dutchman can join me in the van. Uh, Cyrus gets one. Bucky gets one. Merrick gets one. Enderfree gets one. Everyone gets one. That's could just right click, can I? Uh, right. We'll take the senior agent off. I guess suppose we'll take you two off. We really do need to just get these rookies up. We'll have two agents and two rookies. There we go. Equipment should be fine. Knives, tasers. Yep, that's fine. Uh, so lastly, I just need to rename those two. Uh, what do we have? We'll have, uh, the founder. And we shall have... Uh, whatever fins do I have? Got to think. More names. Uh, going by... The last one, let's go. Boromir. Off we go. And... Oh my god, it took us like so long, we're not gonna make it there in time. It's literally gonna be night time by the time we get there, not going with that. Oh, a Mongorn Savage. Okay, so this is the Mongorn. First, uh, first discovered in Mongolia, Mongorns roam the European plains in search of food and are not very aggressive. Although not fully intelligent, Mongorns seem to uh, understand most of what uh, we communicate to them. But they are always, but they always respond with aggression. It is unclear how such a cr how should such an unreasonable creature could survive in the wilderness at all, but it is possible that they were somehow conditioned to hate and attack humans whenever possible. These creatures are troublesome to deal with, as their keen sense and animal cunning make them difficult to hunt from the air. Right, so that's the Mongorn Mutant Physiology. See, right now, I should probably... Although a flamethrower might be good. Let's go with a flamethrower. Who knows? Could become very handy quite soon. Meantime, let's go in. Just gotta grab a drink. 